How do folks, how you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> it's been a while and uh, I do seem to say that just about every time now, but the reality is I've lost faith in the truth movement. I'm still doing what I do, um, some of what I do, and I'm doing other things as well as what I normally do. Um, but the reality is the truth movement is doing what it does and it's full of shit. It is absolutely a crock of crap. Just bear with me while I clean this lens because it's a bit gammy. <laughs> That's better. Um, yeah, the truth movement's full of shills and full of idiots following shills. And I've, this, I've just came to this part in my life now where I'm surrounded with so many people that not only follow the shills but defend them to the hilt. And friends and acquaintances uh, are following these shills and even going to where they are and they've had a couple of words with them so they know they're all right because they stopped and said hello hello how are you doing and maybe had a little bit more of a chit chat so now they know them so no they're not shills definitely not shills when they fucking damn well are and especially the news agencies now when we talk about the shilled news agencies we're usually talking about bbc's and such like but what sort of fucking idiot doesn't believe that these news agencies that are owned by the, the handful of corporations throughout the world, which are all owned by two corporations, um, they believe that these news agencies are too stupid to realise that people are on the internet. They're too stupid because I know they put like the Sky News and the BBC News on the internet, so the dumb cunts believe that that's all there are. That, yeah, that's the news agencies. When you look at this fucking UK shit, UK news is it, and GB news, and fucking all these shits, they can't even imagine that the fucking general news agencies have kind of come into the truth movement and set up these news agencies with news readers. And for fuck's sake, you think they're truth seekers? You think that you think they're just mates that are trying to make a difference you've you've truly got dumb cunts out there right now i'm not just saying following fucking defending to the hilt news readers <laughs> the lamestream news agencies the fucking news agencies they set up to deceive you and the fucking idiots that are following them are starting to defend them like I say, to the fucking hilt, to the point now where I'm just breaking contact with idiots that are following news, not just news agents, shills in general. I mean, if you're following a shill, that's none of my fucking business. If I say to you, that's a fucking shill, that is, and you're all proud of it, oh yeah, <laughs> you're all proud of it and want to say stupid shit to me in return, rather than have a discussion or even a debate about it, you just want to come out with some stupid ass fucking comments and smile, eh, like it means anything to me. No, the only thing it means to me is I don't want you around me. So absolutely I will dismiss you from my, my area, my personal space, my internet space. We all have that right. If we don't want to be in contact with somebody, we fuck them off. Well, I don't want to be in contact with anybody who defends shills I mean, if you're watching a shill and looking at a shill, you've just been suckered, you've just been tucked in. We all are at some stage. There's, there's, I can't hold anything against you for being taken in or, or deceived. But if I tell you they're a shill, and you're not even interested in a discussion to find out why or what, or put in your own discernment to go and look for yourself, you just think that's cool because you know they're not. <laughs> Fuck you. Bye you're of no consequence to me anymore and the reality is at this stage of the game it really doesn't fucking matter we just need to get these fucking idiots away from us because they're the fools that this is all fucking continuing for they're the very reason the fools that will fall for a shit and defend a shill when they're told that they're a shill they're the ones that are the cause of what's happening the very the part of this problem and a huge part of this problem because they're not using their own discernment they're not turning away when they realize or when they get given the opportunity to realize they're dealing with a shill they won't look at it 
So if you won't look at it, you're never going to know and you're always going to be cocksure that you're not dealing with a shill because you know better because maybe you sent them an email once and they answered you or maybe you met them at a fucking protest or a rally which are where the shills go which is begging your masters for longer chains which is not an effective means of protest should I say these protests in the street you know where you fill the streets and you just piss the people off and you do absolutely nothing whatsoever to the government or the ones that are actually causing the issue you're not causing them any problems at all you're just in the way of other people yeah these shills taught you how to do that the shills got you out there doing that and then they went and met you there to prove to you they're genuine <laughs> people are fucking stupid people as a whole are fucking stupid and uh, I've said before not you guys but I'm damn sure there are some of you guys that are <laughs> but there are also some of you guys who are fucking awesome and have got a brain can use the discernment and yes get tuck in because we all do but when you get tuck in and then you find out that they're shills or get an opportunity to find out the shills when somebody tells you that they're shills that's the point there where your own discernment must kick in not cognitive dissonance if you're just going to shut down immediately, I know better, bump, chunk, then you're just a fucking idiot or an unsold entity who's programmed and uh, you're programmed in this matrix so you can't fucking have your own mind. You've got no free will, you've got no discernment, you're just pre-programmed. And if that's the case, that's, that's the case. That's one of the reasons why I'm pulling away from fucking shills because most of the people who are absolutely besotted with them they're not sold entities, they have no discernment, they have no ability to change their mind when presented with new information. They've not got any ability to realise in this situation where we're in now, your own discernment is a massive part of what needs to be applied. A huge part in your defence and defending yourself and keeping yourself safe is your discernment and your ability to see not just to spot a shill because they're not spottable they're not easily spottable you've got I don't know I, I, what is it I've been in it a long time I've lived the life where I can sniff out bullshit I guess it is my curse that I can sniff out bullshit I have done for fucking many 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 years most of my fucking life I'm repulsed immediately by shills I find them really really fucking quick and I'm, I'm calling about not a Freemasonic fucking thing, I've got an itchy nose. Um, I'll call them out way before there's any reason for me to say that one absolutely, here you go, and this is why. I, I know, I get the fucking feeling there's just something fucking so wonky about this fucker, and I just pull myself away immediately. I won't get into them, I won't start listening to the shit they say, because the chances are they're telling you shit you already know, shit that people have been saying for years and years and years, but because it's right, what they're saying, they can't be a shill. 80% truth, 20% bullshit. I, I say it regular, it's like setting off to Australia in a little rowboat from England and being one degree out. You're going in the right direction, but you're one fucking degree out. And by the time you get to Australia, well, you just don't, do you? So, uh, that's how the truth movement works. Absolute, 80% truth. 20% bullshit so I don't care how much truth somebody says because when you look you'll probably find it's been said before you will probably find it's been said before sometimes quite a fucking lot by quite a lot of people but because now they're saying it oh no they can't be a shill absolutely no way or because they're having a million fucking guests on every week on the fucking shows internet thinking they're a fucking TV program trying to make themselves a TV program you know I know fuck all I'm a shill, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get all the other shills on my program, one after the other, to validate them and validate myself. And it fucking works every time. You watch shills interviewing shills, and when they fucking do, everybody's going, ooh, ah, no, they're not shills. I like what they say. I've been following them for ages, they're not a shill. I like what they say. I resonate with what they say. Yeah, at least 80% of it, eh? 
<laughs> Fucking idiots. This is the this is the bee that's in my bonnet. This is this is what's crawled up my fucking arse recently. More recent, more than recently. Over the last year I would say it's been really pissing me off and building, building, building. And I get so often people randomly, even though everybody knows, don't send me fucking videos. I've been in the truth movement for fucking ages. And I'm not saying I know it all, absolutely I don't. But if I don't know it, I know how to find what I want to hear. And I don't want people sending me fucking videos, mostly of their fucking favourite shills, telling me to watch this fucking three, four hour of a Zoom call or four hour of a video that they've made with some cunt else, just shilling away. Just because you believe the fucking shills, don't try and put the cunt on me. I don't want anybody sending me fucking videos or fucking anything. If we have a conversation, you say, I've got a video to show you, we'll have a conversation, I might say, yeah, send me that. Now send it me, because I've said, yeah, send it me. But if I don't say send me a fucking video, I don't want fucking videos of your favourite shills. I don't know whether you noticed, but I never fucking look at them. I never comment back on the cunts. I just see them and shake my fucking head and put my head in my hands. Like fucking another one lost to the fucking shills. But when I speak up about it, they're shills. If you want to defend them, we're done. And it's not anything like I believe I'm higher than you. It's me choosing who's in my circle. It's me choosing what's influencing my subconscious. And if I've got idiots pushing shills into my subconscious when I'm actively repelling this bullshit, I don't need that shit. Nobody needs that shit. So I, I'm just making myself in smaller and smaller circles, creating smaller and smaller circles around me. My circle, it's shrinking. And it's not because I think I'm better than anybody. I've probably said in every video I've ever made or virtually, we're all fucking equal. Every single one of us, we're all fucking evil. All us soul conscious. <laughs> we're, we're all equal. Not so sure about these NPCs as some people call them, non-souled entities as I call them. Um, clearly I wouldn't believe I'm equal to part of the fucking matrix. But uh, for absolute sure, these fucking shows, they're... And, and the people following the shills, more importantly, are the ones that are going to bring this system down. You're helping to bring this system down if you can't use your own discernment. And you know if I'm wrong about one, whoop de doo Don't give a flying fuck. You know if one slips through and I'm wrong, the consequences are I didn't listen to the whatever they've got to say. Well, it don't matter. Somebody else is saying the same and I probably know it in my head or I've heard it somewhere before anyway. But if I'm wrong, like I say, zero consequence. You know, if I'm right, if I'm right, and the dumb cunts are following fucking shills like I say they are, what does that mean? And if I was to listen to those dumb cunts and got jumped on board with that, and everybody else was to listen to those dumb cunts and jumped on board with that, what would that mean? Would there be no consequence? Not a fucking chance. The consequences are dire. The consequences are absolutely hellish. I'm quite quite comfortable in my knowledge and I'm quite comfortable in my beliefs too because my beliefs aren't ever going to cause me an issue to that degree. My beliefs aren't going to join in with this new world order, aren't going to join in with the governments of, of the world that have been bought out by the WEF and these supposed leaders, they don't lead fucking me, they might lead you, I don't, I don't know. From what I see, yeah, I see so many fucking people speaking out about these, these supposed world leaders and then they put some fucking post up about the government should be doing this or they should be doing that. Hang on a minute, don't you see the contradiction in that? Are you governed? Do you want to be governed? Statute defined legislative rule of society given force of law by the consent of the governed a legislative rule of society not fucking law given the force of law not fucking law force by the consent of the governed i'm not fucking governed i haven't consent i don't consent do you are you governed they don't have no fucking authority. They don't have no power in the first place. Everything they've fucking taken, or everything they own, they've taken, 
I haven't had any fucking consents, permissions or anything with me. In fact, they've had absolutely years and years of me telling them actively, I don't consent, I'm not governed. Here's who I am. And here's who I am. Living relatively freely, as free as a man can, can live in this fucking, this realm. Still travelling under my rights to travel. Still minding my own fucking business. Still not interacting with the system. It don't work. Really? Oh. Okay. Oh fucking K. You live in that world where it don't work. I've been living my life for fucking years like this. Years. And here I am. Still, still no consequences. Well, I can't say no consequences. There are consequences. What I do and how I live my life is actually ruled by the decisions I make because of the knowledge I've got. In effect, they are actually consequences because it doesn't mean I can do absolutely anything I fucking want, anytime I want, anywhere I want. It means if I'm going to stay in the private, I have to stay in the private. I don't enter into the public. Travelling on the roads. I don't believe there's a law anyway. I've never found a law that states that you have to have a license to do anything. That's you buying rights. You can't buy rights. That's the, the government taking off a natural fucking God-given right that you've got and selling it back to you. <laughs> with their rules attached. Well, hang on a minute. I could do it before with the only one rule, really, is don't cause any harm, injury, or loss. And that's the only rule. Your own personal rules are another story. I mean, I'm I'm quick on the on the motors when I'm travelling. Everybody who knows me do know I'm a little bit heavy-footed. I don't have to abide by any speed limits. But at the same time, I, I put my own discernment, my own knowledge of of shit can happen. I put my own respect of other people into the fact. And yes, I may go past one at vum o'clock, but the reality is. I'm not causing them any arm injury or loss. I'm not going around crashing. I'm not making anybody else crash. And if anybody's frightened because I went past them fast, to fucking shit. We're back to snowflakes and Karens, aren't we? And and I, <laughs> just to bounce quickly, I've seen them trying to now uh, manipulate people about these Karens and snowflakes. And if you're calling them that, that's your own fears. And then go kiss my ass. That's absolutely taking the piss out of a cockwomble. <laughs> and we're all entitled to do it. Because I don't find anything funnier than seeing a Karen go off on one. Or a cockwomble come to a male Karen. I had it like, it's in my uh, other motor. People know I've got a, a, a rather fast and rather, rather noisy. Um, we'll call it a summer motor because it's more fit for the summer. And, and it's extremely noisy. And I passed some cunt and he got out of the car going, You nearly hit me! When was it at the traffic lights? You nearly hit me! Like, Why would I nearly hit you? <laughs> and what it turned out to be, he was frightened by the noise when I came past. <laughs> Just as I took my foot off the throttle, it pop, 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 pop. And, and it scared him. So for that, he had to be triggered, which gave me an awful lot of joy. And I took the fucking piss out of him. Uh, until he went skulking off back to his own motor bright red because he looked like an absolute pillock because why would I nearly hit somebody just overtaking them on a straight road uh, absolutely ridiculous thought but that's that's the world we live in we live in the age of cock wombles I, I, I don't know if that's the age of cock it's not the age of Aquarius is it it's the age of cock wombles we'll leave the age of Aquarius for the MK Ultra Afflicted uh, the, the age of a cock womble is actually evidentiary you can prove it, it's there, it's in front of you it's a dis discernible fact <laughs> and besides that, this is my YouTube channel and I've named it <laughs> so for the purpose of this channel the age of the cock womble <laughs> the cock womble era and it's why it should go down known as in uh, in history from 2020 to 2030 basically yeah it shouldn't really be anything else but it's the age of the cockwomble and we'll see where it goes 
and uh, let's see how it ends. We've got lots of people truly believing this is a great time to be alive. The age of the cockwomble. Um, great time to be alive, yeah. It's absolutely fucking awesome that the ones who actually control this world want to kill you, are actively killing you. Just got majority of the fucking world to take the death jab. They're, they're bringing in new agendas to lock you up into a fucking smart city. They're doing that throughout the fucking world. Hunger Games, anybody. But a great time to be a fucking live. Because don't worry, as long as you keep saying that, you're going to manifest a better future. And it's not going to fucking happen, is it? Because you keep saying it's a great time to be alive. Fucking idiots out there. It is fucking bizarre. I'm listening to people all the time so far fucking off because right now I believe what should be happening and I don't call for it because I know it wouldn't happen anyway but I, I believe what should be happening is what the old MP, was it Dennis Skinner used to say ages ago uh, used to say years ago if uh, 200,000 well motivated men and women descended upon Whitehall, surrounded the building and, and, and filled the building also and refuse to leave, they would shut the government down instantly and get what they required. And why are we not doing this? Why isn't it fucking happening? Uh, because people are cockwombles. They've been trained, absolutely trained, to stand in the street protesting and pissing off people, not governments. They've been trained to protest in an in a ineffectual way. Another one of his quotes, I'm sure it's Dennis Skinner, but it may be one of the others, but uh, you just can't find them anymore. They've been taken down. But another one of his quotes, publicly on the news, probably BBC, stood there and said, if the people of this England knew what we were actually doing in the halls of power, they would be down here in a moment flat and hangers from the rafters. I think we know what they're doing now, don't we? But they've managed to break our souls to the point that people won't get off their arse. They've created such a divide that we hate each other and we're fighting each other always. And, and yeah, uh, me included, cockwombles, fucking everywhere. If anybody wanted to actually do anything about it, I'd be first there. Even though I'm away from the system, I don't involve myself with the system, I'm not accosted by the system, I'm not having to deal with the issues that other people are dealing with in the, issue, with the system, but for and behalf of the people, absolutely, I would be there if they got off their arse. But we've seen it many times. I've tried to bring people together. Not a fucking chance. The only ones that seem to be able to bring people together are the shills. They'll have you down to London for another fucking protest. They'll have you filling the fucking streets and having a great day. I've heard it loads of times. We had a fantastic day. Yeah, we're fucking few people around. Bit of music on, bit of fucking dancing. Yeah smoked a bit of fucking weed, had a chat, fucking caught up with some fantastic people, increased our own social circle. Is that what you went down there for, really? Did you achieve anything? These, And I'm sure there's somebody watching this that goes to all of these fucking protests. What did you fucking achieve? What did you achieve? Seriously. Fucking cockwombles. You know it. But a shill tells you that's what we're doing next week. So, oh, my favourite shill. I'm going down so we can meet up. <laughs> so then you can come back and defend them to people like me and tell me how fucking nice they really are. Fuck me. No, they can't possibly be a shill because I met them and I chatted to them and they're lovely. Well, we've already ascertained that you ain't got a fucking brain. You're already making two short planks look like a fucking computer. Why does your word, because you met him, the one that has no discernment, not you, not you, but the one that's fucking doing it, you've already proved you've got no discernment. So how does going and meeting them come back prove that they're not fucking shills anymore? You're absolutely proven it. Now I've pulled away over the, the last few months, people have got to realize on here, it's been months, probably six fucking months I've, I've been pulling away. And in all honesty, one of the biggest things, after, after we dealt with my missus's cancer and we'd already dealt with my cancer before that, that's pretty much where the main focus went. So I'm still there helping people that I should help. And that isn't all fucking comers anymore, just because 
you know my name, you've heard of me, it don't mean I automatically fucking help you when you send me 300 pages of something, say here, read this, what do I need to do? Um, but the reality is, my biggest priority at the minute has been cancer. There's so many people come to see me that have got a problem, and, and I'm happy when they come to see me to help the very best I can. Um, I can't make any claims of I can cure cancer. I can tell anybody my experience and what I've done and my wife's experience and what she's done and other people's experience and what they've done. But I can't make any claims. Why can't I make any claims? Because we live in a tyrannical fucking world. But isn't that an act in statute or an act of parliament? Does that apply to me, the man? Should I give a fuck? Because you know something, I cured cancer. <laughs> you can like it a fucking lump it. I had it, dealt with. My wife had it, fucking dealt with. Others have had it, some are dealt with, some are being dealt with. It's as simple as that fucker. Depopulation disease in my opinion and the system stinks for what they do. They have no interest whatsoever. Cancer research, one and a half million per fucking day they take in donations. One and a half million per day. Never cured a soul. Never cured a soul. They got a rich fucking CEO though. <laughs> People are stupid. As far as I'm concerned, well dealable well dealable there's only there's only one technically I lost but I didn't lose him because he weren't taking the protocol didn't want to go on apparently but other than that everybody is either better or getting better seems to be 100% well if a man in a shed can do that what are the government doing what is the NHS doing what is the private medical industry doing See, I know people who've gone private and they talk to me about private. Well, I went private over my ticker when uh, I had to have my operation. And to a degree, yeah, you can get dealt with quicker. But by private isn't Freemasonic healthcare. I'm sure that's absolute and totally different. By private just means you jump in the queues and you're paying some money and getting a bit better treatment in a private room. Uh, the agenda still stands. As far as cancer, they'll still say the same shit. They'll still do the same shit. So, uh, how good is that? Like private schooling, I was discussing with somebody with private schooling and they didn't think they was susceptible to the shit that they're having to deal with now with this, uh, these paedophiles and the paedophile wannabes and the, the paedophile lovers. Uh, and like I said, as far as private school concerned, the only difference is, depending on the level of private school, is the teaching. They're either teaching you to, to leave school to get a job and work out what job you want, in the private schools, in the good ones, supposed good ones, they're teaching you to leave school and create a business and deciding what business you want to create. And that's a fucking itchy nose. And that is, I've got to overemphasize this because every time I touch my fucking nose, and for some reason, going on a, on a video, for some reason, it does give me an itchy nose for some reason, probably psychological, because I keep getting called Freemason for scratching my nose. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, reality is schools, they're just, uh, they're just teaching people either to be bosses or to be slaves, workers. So most of us from our realm turn out to be slaves because that's what they've been educated to be. What do you want to be when you leave school? What do you want to be when you grow up and it all focuses around a job, a job. Well, when you look at private schools, the, the good private schools, colleges and universities, the only people that would come out there and get a job are in the the real affluent sectors um, maybe some high-level civil engineers but, but even them to a degree it's just a fucking job making their world turn um, but governmental agencies wanting to get into the government wanting to get to become an MP and wanting to you know these billionaires that take the, the 160,000 pound a year jobs billionaires <laughs> They spend £160,000 on a night out, but they need that job. Why do they need that job? 
because funnily enough they can siphon out more billions from you which is what they do and we all know this and we do fuck all about it but moan on Facebook why is that? because the best minds in the world paid with unlimited money and AI created Facebook to give you somewhere to moan to give you somewhere to give you data to give somewhere to give you pictures to give somewhere to give everything they need on you to give a, get a full psychological profile to know how to fuck you over further but they won't let you know that they won't tell you this yes they would all you got to do is watch what most of your fucking favorite shills are telling you they can tell you absolutely anything and they don't care about telling you everything anything they will tell you absolutely everything full disclosure remember in plain sight all that shit they can absolutely tell you everything because the fucking 2% that would believe it are outweighed by the 98% who are either following shills or absolute full in MK Ultra bought into the system a long time ago and don't believe they should fucking or could live without it that's where we stand with it all so anyway I hope that gives a little bit of an account to why I haven't been on here very much I am about still I am still on the internet daily but like I say I do have many sessions in the man cave now with uh, with, with folks with cancer and uh, and yeah doing the shit we need to do well, there's lots we need to do we need to wake up to shit but for the most part what we need to do is get ourselves a bullshit detector if you ain't got a bullshit detector you need to get one and if you can't get one and you have no fucking clue well what you need to do is listen to others and when they tell you somebody's a shill you don't have to believe them I say believe nobody but when they tell you ask them why and then look into it and then use your own discernment and if you look into it and you find out that, that something's a little bit iffy and you fucking keep listening to them because you like listening to them you're nothing but a fucking idiot absolute because these shills make up for the most part of this movement absolute most part of this movement they're the shills there's just the average one or two floating around that isn't and literally everybody gets called shills at some point I get called it regular although I ain't got a fucking clue if anybody out there should be obviously not a fucking shill you'd think it's me because you never hear the shills talk like I fucking do everybody's like oh no you can't say that you can't say that fuck off is there anything I fucking want? This is my fucking mouth. No cunt's putting a padlock on my mouth. You want to take down this shit? Take it fucking down. Maybe I'll get a fucking life. Maybe my fucking my emails will stop coming if I get shut off the internet. Shut me down off the internet. Fucking EMP my fucking place. Knock us back to the fucking Stone Age for all I care. Because I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I can hunt, I can gather, I could forage, I could survive. How many others can do that? And I hope everybody says me, but we know most fucking can't. All that I'm seeing is arguments on the agenda. You les, you les, yeah, but they're fucking taking down cars, aren't they? You will own nothing, be happy, you will be in 15 minute smart cities. We're removing personal car ownership by 2030, but we need to put you les in to, to look after the environment, you fucking idiots. They're on the fucking payroll. It's been proved they're on the payroll. They even said it on one of their own fucking videos, which is where I realised they got they was on the fucking payroll. When some dumb cunt walked up to one of the videos and there's them twats in the dinosaur suits. Yeah, because protesters just go out and buy dinosaur suits, don't they? They just go out and get nine foot dinosaur suits so they can block a camera. That's just what they do. Yeah. Can't see an agenda, can we? I've, I've fucked friends off over that. I've been fucked off over fucking you, Les. And I fuck friends off over fucking shills, news agency shills. That's the most ridiculous bit. Fucking news agency and people are up their arse. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go because any minute now, this fucking thing will cut out anyway because they only get 30 fucking, usually 32, 33 minutes. We've got 34 minutes so far. Good job it didn't stop on 33, isn't it? Fucking hell, that's happened before and bang, that was absolute evidence. And it was one of the fucking things where I scratched my nose as well. It was like 33 minutes, scratched his nose, he's Freemason. 
<laughs> you fucking idiots. But anyway, it is what it is. So I don't know when I'll be back. It may be in a couple of days. It may be next week after everybody's got all the stuff that they're hoping for on from Satan's claws and their paganic, pagan satanic, satanic ritual. Um, but uh, it may not. Who knows? I'll just come and go as I feel fit. Because like I say, I just don't trust people anymore. I don't trust this movement. The old movement is absolutely fucked. I feel so sorry for people who are just coming into it that are genuine and straight people because they wouldn't know where to fucking turn. They really wouldn't. And if you ask people like me, it's plain and simple. People are fucking stupid. Everybody's a shill. So I'm the fucking wrong one to come to and ask who's a shill and who's not a shill. They're all fucking shills until they prove otherwise. <laughs> well, on that note, anyway, folks, have a fucking good one. Some of you, anyway. <laughs> if you're following shows, go and listen to your bullshit. But at the end of the day, here I am, having a little pop, trying to straighten people's minds out again, which is all I ever do. All I want to do now is straighten people's minds, because I truly believe if your mind's straight, you'll start working out some of this shit. But on that note, like I say, have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Ta-da!